Hello and welcome to this section of the MATLAB Tutor. In this section, it's going to be a very short section but a very important section. I'm going to teach you how to clear your variables. And I've already mentioned some of this before, but I think it's so important that it really deserves its own section. So let's say you've defined a few variables in your calculations. Let's call them x1 equal to 4, x2 is equal to 5, x3 is equal to, call it negative 7, uh, and let's say result is equal to x1 plus x2 minus x3. Right, so we have the variables x1, 2, and 3 defined. We're calling a new variable called result, and we're doing this uh, on them, x1 plus x2 minus x3. Of course, we get the result. That's the, the variable we're calling result, and it has a value of 16. Now, in many cases in your MATLAB session, when you're doing a lots of homework or lots of quick little calculations, you're going to define tons of variables. And you might actually have, you know, 20 variables here because maybe you're doing a lot of problems. And it might get cumbersome to see all of those variables here in the workspace window when you're really trying to focus on just a few for the current problem that you have. So the way you clear a variable and permanently remove it from uh, the workspace here, so the way to actually clear a variable is to type the word clear right and I can type in my variable so in this case let's do x3 so when I type in x3 it knows that x3 is a variable when I hit enter it is removed from the variable list all right and then that variable is just gone so now what happens if I tried to say you know uh, let's just call it uh, you know yippee let's say uh, x1 plus x2 plus x3. Let's say I forget that I cleared x3. I'm going to say, hey, I have an undefined function or variable x3 because it's gone. It's no longer here. And then I realize, oh, you're right. I just cleared that thing. So I pull it up with the up arrow and I just get rid of this guy and hit enter. And of course, it's able to do the calculations on this guy. Um, so that's how you remove variables individually. You type in clear and then the variable name, yippee, like this. I can do that and I'm going to clear this guy. And then let's say you're you're done with an entire slug of problems. You've done three or four in a row. You don't need any of those variables ever again. So to clear everything in the window here, then you type in clear all. Clear all. When you hit that, then you can see all of the variables are cleared and everything's basically blank. So if you type in, you know, x1 has no idea what that is anymore, it is gone. So definitely do not clear your variables unless you're really sure that you're not going to need them anymore or if for some reason they're just you know, they're just cramping your style and they're all here and you just don't want to look at them anymore. But you, you need to know that you're not going to use them again because once you clear them, it just purges them out and they're no longer there. When you're done with an entire problem, a lot of times you might want to clear all the variables out because, uh, you know, you're going to be starting a new problem with new variables and you want everything clean there. So again, if we type in who, who is the, uh, the uh, function to list all the variables, it's not going to return anything because there's no variables listed. So once they're cleared, they're really and truly gone. 